Today's video is brought to you by BetterHelp. Welcome to today's tea time. Today's session is gonna be maybe a little different than how it has been in the past. I have the house to myself, so I thought I would take this session into the living room space and just take time to share more about the house and all the things that have been kind of causing me maybe some anxieties in life as of late because a lot of them have to do with the space that I'm in, my surroundings, how it feels and everything that's been going on lately. So let's get into it. So it's been about three weeks now since Angelo and Mackenzie have moved in with Knox and we've been here for, wow, about a month now and the house is definitely starting to feel more and more like our own space and like a place that we can really enjoy and call our own. While I say that, also it's caused so much anxiety and overwhelm because there is so much change happening within the space. It's very discombobulated and in coming into this space, a part of my intentions was to live in a place that was cohesive comforting, wholesome, and just brought the same amount of joy that the bus did. The bus was really, really amazing because everywhere I would look, I would see joy and love and passion and everything that we created to create the space as our own. And so this house, while it is going to be that, it is on its way to being that. And so through this journey of transition, and everything that's changing with the space, there's a lot of chaos. And so I've been trying to cope with certain anxieties that I have that overwhelm me. With that, it's so, so helpful, at least for me, to have a good chat with a therapist. And so I'm really excited to say that this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. So if you guys have anything that's weighing heavy on your heart or something that has been bothering you or you've been wanting to work on for the last however many months or years of your life, struggles that you've been going through, anxieties that you might have or things that concern you about your mental health and general well-being of your mind, then it's always so helpful to come and find a professional licensed therapist to chat through some of those things, to have them help you work through those dark sides of your mind. What's awesome about BetterHelp is that you can sign up and get in touch with a the therapist within 48 hours and they get chatting with you, figure out what it is that you're wanting to work on. And if you just need that kind of professional therapy done online, then BetterHelp is a really great resource to access and communicate with someone from anywhere in the world. You can chat over Messenger or over the phone or even on video calls. So that's also really helpful if you want to be able to have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone who's there to support you and get you through some of your hardships. My therapist has been really, really awesome to check in with me in between sessions and it's easy to get in touch and communicate with her and it's been really helpful to have someone to support and get me through some of that stress and things that overwhelm me. So when you sign up for better help, you fill out a form that kind of helps you figure out what it is that you want to work on, whether it's family issues, personal issues, self-love or communication. They match you with a therapist that they think is a good fit. And if you're not a fan of who you get matched with, then you can easily switch to a new therapist and hope that that is a better match for you guys. The other thing that's really great about BetterHelp is to be honest, they have a great price point for what you're getting. It's way more affordable than some of the other traditional types of therapy that you might have. And they even offer financial aid if you are in need of a little extra support. So if you guys are interested in having access to someone who can help talk through some things and be a support system and a professional therapist is what you need, we have teamed up with BetterHelp to get you 10% off your first month and you can sign up as early as today. So if you guys are interested, check it out and thanks again BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to share, I guess, some things that I'm anxious about as well as more about the house. I realized I haven't really given you guys a tour of the space and I thought it would be really fun to switch up my lens because I love this lens for sitting down and chatting and vlogging and all that. But I have this really amazing 35 millimeter lens that I love working with. It creates more of a story and a scene and just I feel like provokes more emotion in closeness to objects, space, and items that are within the house. 
And so I threw on my 35 millimeter lens and ran around the house feeling overwhelmed by everything that was going on and just seeing the space creatively as a beautiful mess. <laughs> I wanted to share everything that's crazy wrong with the house, all the cracks and nooks and crannies and holes in the walls and just everything that was needing work and love and TLC with the house as well as just how we're melding ourselves into the space and how we're putting our furniture and belongings and where it's being hung and styled and where the plants are and all that kind of stuff so I had loads of fun with that and I thought I'd make this tea time a little different and just share all that content with you guys and talk about the things that have kind of been overwhelming me and how I've been able to manage them. And I should mention that also with today's tea time, it's a little different, it's quite early in the day and I do have a pot of chamomile tea in the fridge that's left over from when Mackenzie and I had a little tea party. I'll have to show you that teapot because Brooke gifted it to us as a housewarming present and it's so beautiful, it has dragonflies on it. But I'm not in the mood for chamomile tea, it makes me quite dozy, so I'm having a coffee, so don't mind me breaking the rules for this tea time conversation. Okay, sometimes I feel like in life things need to get worse before they can get better. Even when it comes to things that you create in life in art, there's a phase of big mess and chaos and work in progress kind of vibes that can be overwhelming and discouraging to kind of see things not quite finished or looking shamboozled and put together and rough around the edges and it can be overwhelming and disappointing to want to get to that finish line and see things as they would be when they're finished and kind of not welcoming and accepting the process that it's gonna take to get there. That's something that I've been having to accept that things are gonna get worse before they can get better. And the chaos of all the mess that's happening around the house, that things need to be reorganized and moved around before it can be cozy and styled and finished and completed. And the concepts that, you know, your sadness has to deepen before it can uplift and how that relates to your surroundings and how you have to really reach your deepest depths of sorrow and weakness and anxiety before you can realize that you need to grow through that and become uplifted and refined and beautiful and that the space around us can, can make me feel sometimes just discouraged and allowing myself to feel those emotions knowing that there will be greatness at some time. It's gonna be a little while, but having patience before that comes is something that's so important. I know you've recently heard me talk a lot about like this beautiful chaos of mess that life is right now, and it really truly is that with all the construction projects that are constantly going on right now. There's pieces of you know wood and scraps and all kinds of chaos that's all around. And I really do feel like your home is a reflection of your mental state and looking at your house and the space that you live in, the, the state of your fridge, how clean your space is. These are all things that I feel like can really help uplift you and bring your mental attitude and emotions to be level-headed and stabilized and give you guys confidence or give myself even if you have never tried you should to clean your space and just see how it makes you feel lately I've just been so so anal about wanting my space to feel clean and organized and not overwhelmed it gives me peace when there is so much chaos in the construction in having kids around the play space being always incredibly messy it's a lot about you know learning how to live together right now and the two families merging their parenting techniques together and the kids having various opinions and different emotions and things that they go through throughout the day and bringing those home and as we all do as adults bring home all sorts of baggage or feelings of what's happened throughout the day. One of the first questions we will ask each other, you know, is just like checking in if we hadn't seen each other all day is like, how was your day? And how, you know, what happened? What, what were you up to all day? And just like supporting each other through what we went through in the day. And when we can come home with joyful, happy kind of emotions, it's really helpful for all of us to connect and be in the space in a really positive way. And that has really helped 
to level my anxieties out a bit. But like I mentioned right now, there's just so many different projects going on in the house. It's non-stop chaos and Odin has really been causing havoc and nipping and he's really been peeing a lot inside. He's getting older and he's listening much, much more and it's so amazing to see him grow and mature and really become much more of a um, teenage dog now that he's about three months old. But we're wanting to see him really continue to grow in what he's learned and what he's being taught and just all these pee pads inside and constant chewing of things that he's not allowed. He's he's pushing back on rules that he knows or rules and learning where he fits in with the family and it's just all, all the things kind of trying to mold into one rhythm of life. We have had a little sickness run through the house. It wasn't COVID or anything serious, but um, just the common cold, you know, the transition of seasons, all the pollen that um, the trees put out here in North Carolina Carolina has been bugging a lot of people's allergies which just gets you feeling groggy and emotional and yeah stuffed noses and congestion just makes your clouded head not really able to function and just overwhelms you with just this groggy attitude that you just can't get through it's hard to kind of push through allergies that just make you feel grumpy in the day and on top of that while it's spring and the flowers are blooming and it's so beautiful outside in order for it to be a beautiful spring you obviously have to have rain and those days can be gloomy and so when you combine all these things of chaos in the house and mess and constant chores that need to be done you know it, it can get a little bit overwhelming and causes me a lot of anxiety on days especially my mondays i don't know if you guys have busy, crazy, overwhelming Mondays, but sometimes I feel like there's just not enough time in the day and I feel flustered. I feel like I have to race through all my work to get things done and life is moving so incredibly fast. I can't barely take a stop to breathe and take a moment to do yoga or meditate and just, I feel like momentum of things are just crazy. The other thing that I feel really helps me to kind of reduce my anxiety is sometimes I get too much in my head. As a Pisces, my mind wanders into this like dreamscape life. I go on this tangent in my mind and just like weave into this place that is non-existent but that I can visualize myself in or create an inspirational kind of an environment that I can see and it helps me to realize my dreams, you know, manifest my dreams and make what I have in my mind my reality. I see myself in a space when we thought we were going to lose out on buying this house. I was visualizing myself in the space and the house came back on the market and we ended up getting the house and now we're in the space and I see myself still in this space and that's really an amazing skill and beautiful thing to be able to do if you can manifest and visualize your life in a certain way things begin to kind of fall into place and the reality of what you see in your mind becomes your life. But I also have a flaw of doing that so much that it becomes this like negative cycle of just destruction. Pushing myself out of that world of being in my mind comes with being in community and being with friends and learning about other people's lives in the moment and hearing about how they're doing and how you can show up for them and just showing support and care for others. It's just so nice to be able to do that to others because you know that you can receive that kind of love back and when you have that negative cycle of thought, sometimes you need support back from your community and the people around you, someone to talk to, someone to bounce ideas off of, um, someone to just share your thoughts with because if they are unhealthy, it's nice to just release them and hear like supportive, kind offerings of just like how you can get through hardship. Finding your support system is just so amazing and having a great community of friends is incredibly helpful and just so nice to have people around. So I, yeah, I always try and connect with my loved ones and family and just helps me to kind of release any, any anxieties that I have. 
So you've heard me talk about cleaning and tidying my space to kind of help make it feel just like a healthier environment to be in and having a place for everything is so nice and the bus allowed us to have a space for each item that we had. It had a home, it had a place to go back to and everything was intentional about that. In the house, there's not really furniture as far as like cabinetry or places to store things. And so that's something that I've been struggling with, like finding a home for items, like an intentional place to put all things is not quite yet there. And I think that's where the anxiety comes from of like things just feeling put somewhere and not intentionally. So I look forward to kind of digging deeper into more minimalism, more intentional owning of items so that when I do clean and tidy and put things away, everything serves a purpose and has a home. The other thing that I've been trying to kind of just allow myself to push through is with the chaos and everything all around us, finding enjoyment in the little things in life. We all forget to do it from doing things like yoga, reading a book or seeing little smiles from Azalea or watching, you know, the tree limb get cut down that we did the other day and having our first fire in the fire pit and seeing Odin really mature and just like all these little things in life, a new leaf sprouting on one of the plants, watching the kids enjoy using the guitar and just like the moments of our neighbors walking by and giving us a friendly wave, just little things in life that you don't normally seek out for joy, but those are moments that are a part of your story, a part of your life, a part of the journey of being in this space, a part of the experience that you're living and just remembering to really absorb those moments and appreciate them for what they are gives you so much gratitude and kind of allows you to forget about the chaos and the manic that's all around you allowing myself the opportunity to have more gratitude for all the little moments in life. I uh, dropped Azalea off at school and I drove by, rolled the window down and was waving and she came running and just had the most incredible smile, was waving back and saying, bye mama, I love you. And like, she had so much energy and joy and lust for life that it just it like brought tear to my eye. It was just so precious to see her like truly enjoying going to school and the act of saying farewell for now. And it was just a really beautiful moment. And so I've been trying to really just soak in those little moments of passing by Justin and having a moment to be intimate together or holding hands and having time to lay together and experience just being in a space where we have a little bit more routine has just allowed us to really appreciate the little things in life without feeling too overwhelmed from the things that cause stress. With that, I wanted to just maybe share a few mantras that I've been trying to kind of let mull in my head um, so that I can kind of find more peace and more calm in my day. And I'll just read a few of them and then let you take the one that you want and sit with it. And then I just thought I would sit quietly with you guys at the end of this video here to do a meditation. I just thought I would do that with you guys and maybe next time I could draw a card from my guidance deck. I haven't done that in a really long time. Mantras. I release all negativity from my body. I allow my emotions to flow through me. I release the need to be perfect. I am more calm with each pausing breath. And I am capable of tolerating discomfort. Through this meditation, choose the one that you prefer the best and sit with it and just repeat it to yourself. Sit with your breath and take a moment to just allow yourself to realize that those words ring true to you that you believe in those words because that's probably the most important part of a mantra is truly believing that you believe in those words, that you can say those words and that they hold truth to your day, to your moment that you are sitting in. Angela got me this um, new lighter. It's hilarious. You go squirrel. I hope this video wasn't too intense. I feel like there was a lot of energy that I was putting out. So it's nice actually to come and like tell you everything that I do to help kind of release my anxieties out into the world and not hold on to them. And then also just meditate with you at the end. 
I think that when you have so many things going on in life, you kind of forget to slow down and that's the most important part, to be honest. Forget that you have so many things to do because they'll get done, but the most important thing is your mental health because there is no point in doing any kind of work if your mental health is not in a good shape. I think the mantra that I'm gonna go with, I'm more calm with each passing breath. I have a little smudge bowl. I'm gonna put this here. Just find yourself a comfortable place to sit and I like to just sit cross-legged and take a deep breath, a couple of deep breaths, just kind of like calm myself and just sit in this, in this place, this calm space.
meditation, I like to just take those deep breaths and reconnect with my body, moving my fingertips, my neck and my shoulders. They're opening. They're opening your heart space and having grounded you for just taking the time to sit peacefully for a moment in your day. I always find that at first five minutes feels like forever and then once you really are getting into it five minutes is just never enough and you just could sit there for so much longer if you had the desire and taking the time to train yourself to meditate for longer and longer with each day is also a really amazing practice I would love to take time to be able to meditate for longer that is an ever evolving goal of mine, but already I feel myself more calm, slower, more at peace, and just grateful that I took this time to sit down with you guys and meditate and just share some of the anxieties and things that have been overwhelming me and how I've been moving through those to appreciate life for just what it is in this moment and in this temporary chaos that will eventually find its balance and place and it'll just all come together the way that I know it should. I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that if you have any anxieties or stresses or worries or concerns in your life that you can find ways to kind of subdue those emotions and feelings so that you can have more peace in your day and just take a moment for yourself if you haven't already, just step away and sit in a quiet space and just bring yourself to a sense of calm and gratitude and just zen, good vibes. Without further ado, I'm gonna bid you all farewell and see you guys next week for a fun update on the roof of our house because it doesn't look the same than it did before. It's coming along very nicely. So catch you guys next week.